Welcome to Colin College. Here are six tips to becoming a successful Colin College student. Tip one, picking your major. My name is Abdul and I'm a computer science major. Later on in this video, you're gonna hear from my coworker, Jaden. He's an architecture major. Do you know what major you want to go into? Colin College can help you decide. At Colin College, there are two pathways, the traditional versus the workforce. The traditional associate's degree helps you transfer to a university and obtain a bachelor's degree, while the workforce associate's degree prepares you with the skill sets you need that once complete, you'll be able to get a new job. If you're not sure where to start, you can visit any Colin College campus and visit any of the Career Centers. Here is a link to the Career Center webpage. The Career Center is here to help you choose your major, write a resume, prepare for an interview, and apply for a job. The Career Center looks forward to helping you and getting a head start on your academic and career goals. Tip number two, meeting with an academic advisor. Now you're enrolled at Colin College, do you know what classes you need to register for? If not, an academic advisor will help guide you on the right track towards achieving your academic goals. The top two things an academic advisor can help you with is course recommendations and transfer information. Additional information can be found on the advising homepage, which is located over here. If you need to meet with an academic advisor virtually, select connect with a virtual advisor. If you prefer in-person advising, click on the campus link below for in-person office hours and location. Tip number three, one login. What is one login? One login is an identity management tool utilized by Colin College. So it's basically a two-way factor authentication app. One login gives access to students' email and other applications requiring permission. One login is an app for a smartphone or iPad, but preferably a smartphone. If you search up one login in the Apple Store or Play Store, you'll see multiple options. The correct app to download is One Login Protect. Once the app is installed, go to a computer and search up colin.onelogin.com. Sign in with your Cougar Web login credentials. Then you'll receive a notification on your smartphone. Click Accept. Then a QR code will appear on your screen and you can open the One Login app on your smartphone and click the plus button in the top right section. Once you click on it, it'll ask to scan a QR code. You can now scan that QR code on your screen and after scanning it, you would have successfully set up One Login. If you accidentally delete the app, get a new phone or have to contact tech support, the number to dial is 972-377-1777. Next, we'll be discussing your call-in email. Checking your email, you'll find updates regarding classes, campus updates, or anything regarding payment. You will want to make sure that you have one login already installed and set up on your phone in order to access your email. Once everything has been installed, you want to go to Microsoft365.com and log in using your call-in credentials. In the username area, make sure you use your call-in email. It'll be your Kook Web username followed by at colin.edu. Once you've logged in there, you're going to want to look to the left side of your screen where you see a bunch of icons and select Outlook. From there on, you'll be seeing all of your emails. If you would like to view your emails from your phone, go to your phone and go to either Play Store or App Store and type in Outlook in the search bar. Install it from there and log in the same way you logged on the computer and you'll successfully have logged in to your email from your phone. You'll be able to view it from both your phone and your computer at any time and by doing so, you will have successfully logged in. You've successfully registered for classes, and now you're probably wondering where your classes are. Go ahead and log on to your Cougar Web account, and under the Student Quick Links, select My Class Schedule. Select the semester you are currently registering for, and click on the class that you want to view. Next, click on Instructor slash Meeting Times, and from there on, you will see when the class starts, what time it is, what day in the week it is, which campus is located, and where the room number is. Click on Class Details for any more information. You successfully registered for your classes and now you're probably wondering how you're going to be doing the work. After you successfully registered, you will be using Canvas for your classes. You can access Canvas by logging on to Cougar Web. On the home page of Cougar Web, there will be a Canvas icon right in the middle of the screen. Click on the Canvas icon in order to access your classes. 
you must have one login set up on your phone in order to access Canvas. If you haven't already set that up, please refer back to tip three for the setup.